Hello and welcome. Today we're taking a look at a survival post-apocalyptic city builder called Frostpunk 2, being developed by 11-Bit Studios, who are sponsoring this video. So the world is terrible, post-apocalyptic and all that, and all frozen over. Our job is to build a city in that. If you're not familiar with Frostpunk 1, uh, I, will, I will get you into this and, and we'll figure out what's going on and, and uh, you should be alright, even if you don't know the original one. But if you do know the original one, this basically takes place uh, continuing that story. And there's two ways of playing the game. We can play in here in a Utopia Builder, which is sort of the sandbox. You just sort of choose a, a spot and build a town, sandbox style, city builder style. Just all trying to survive the uh, the terrible post-apocalyptic times with uh, trying to keep a generator going. Uh, and it's sort of like steampunky, uh, um, diesel punk, I guess, kind of uh, setting. Um, keeping everyone warm, keeping everyone fed, and surviving the the apocalypse but we're gonna go into story mode because it does a good job of sort of easing us into the different ways of playing the game we're gonna have a central city as well as we'll have like little offshoot uh settlements that we'll have to deal with in the game and so this does a good job of sort of introducing what's going on 1887 the world froze to death civilization crumbled the failing british empire built generators to support cities of evacuees cities would become the last on earth so whether huddled by a generator or out in the open, Frostland, those that survived were shaped by the ordeal. 30 years later, all became very different people. Now we can choose different difficulties if we want. We can actually change the difficulties as we go on. We'll leave them as, as they are. This is just sort of showing you what the game is all about and getting an idea what's going on. And in the spirit of getting an idea what's going on, we're going to get a bit of a cutscene here. A generation ago, we fled the crumbling British Empire as the world was around us. I held New London together. We survived 30 years of violence. But the world around us but the world is dead. Is dead. Empty. Right. Take it. We have to expand. After all, it's us who survive the end of the world. Frostpunk really plays into that sort of morality of, of the situation. And we'll get those options and those, those, uh, those, those questions coming to us as we play the game. One thing about Frostpunk 2 that has sort of, um, that they have expanded on here is rather than being kind of like a colony builder where we're building smaller focused towns around a single generator, this is much more grand scale city building style. And so rather than just building a house, we are building a district of houses, a district of industry. You'll see how this plays out here. This is sort of the introduction into um, getting sort of the, the, the basic stuff down. And it's, the way I, the reason I'm doing the story mode is because in the prologue here, it does a good job of sort of explaining some of the little basic things. And then we'll move into what they call chapter one, which gives us a proper city. And you can see where, where the game kind of goes from there. But our job here is to restart the furnace. There's the furnace right there. And 
this all plays out around this where we have this frost making, breaking we have to do. So we have to go out. We want to go and use, for instance, this oil to go and hook it up to the generator to get the heat going so then we can build houses around and get this town going. We have to go in. We have to go. Uh, we have to go in and frost break, which basically we select some of these hexes and we get out the big machinery and we, we carve the snow away, I guess, is what's going on here. And by doing that, it allows us to place... The districts, and there's three districts right now. There's more as you get in the game, but these are the districts we got. Housing districts. There's extraction to get that oil out of that uh, that big oil wagon there. There's another one over here, which we can then get shipped over into the generator, and so we get this thing turned on for some heat. In addition to getting oil, uh, we also need prefabs or some sort of materials here to uh, well to build things. Up the top of the screen, we've got, uh, as that's working, uh, we got 3,000 people in town to start with. 1650 is our workforce. We got no one is sick or whatever. Uh, we have scraps, which we use to do that frost breaking there. Uh, and we also have prefabs, which we use to make buildings. These are the meters we really need to be looking at, is how much fuel do we have, how many shelter do we have, and how much food do we have, as well as materials, eventually. Um, so we need to get some farms done. We need to get some housing done. You know, all the basic stuff. So now that that is cleared out... We can come in here and we can place an extraction district. Now, the district, as you can see, is three squares, three hexes, not squares, hexes. And so we place this thing like that. That is our district. Ideally, when, and you'll see when we get into the next map, as you play, you can get, you can potentially get three spots, three harvesting spots in each of those three hexes to get more stuff. Because as you select this, you'll see there's only 60,000 bits of oil in there. If we would have gotten, like, if we could have gotten this one in there as well, that would have been 120. So you can kind of get an idea how, how planning those hexes out is kind of a big deal. Um, as um, as we're getting that thing hooked up, uh, well, you know what? I'll just follow the tutorial. I'll speed up a little bit. We'll just kind of let the game do its thing. Um, these are our people. We have different factions in the game now. We just have wanderers right now, but as we get a big town, we'll see here in a minute, we will have multiple factions. They all want different things, and we can also adjust, like, how much, uh, are they allowed to eat or have or whatever, you know. Again, the questions come in, and we'll get some of those questions here with this, in, even in this little intro scenario that they give us. Oil. As thick as, uh, as the thick black liquid oozes through the pipes, our people rejoice. All right, so now we got oil. We got to come over here and we got to go turn this thing on. There we go. Crank it on. We can turn it into overdrive if, if we are desperate for heat, but we now have heat. And so with heat, uh, we can uh, survive. The furnace is on. We have enough oil to cover our needs. The cold will still affect our people until they have proper shelter. We need houses. So let's get ourselves a housing district. And this one uh, is six different uh, hexes here. And now there's a there's a bonus where you want to put this thing. If you want it next to the generator, of course, it's going to be warmer. So that they, we need to pump out less heat. It's all sort of around this heat mechanic, you know. Um, more people that are outside, then we got to go and start cranking more oil in. We can go in. Uh, oh, can we do it here? Uh, not quite. As soon as we get in there, we can actually go in. And we can, like, zoom in and, and get a, uh, a better look at all this stuff. I think my... Sound. Oh, there it goes. There it's back. <laughs> it's very quiet. It's so quiet. Let's speed up here. Oh, it wants, it wants two housing districts, doesn't it? Uh, and we got to frost break our way to a construction wagon, which there is one of those right over there. So we're going to go and frost break our way over here. I keep doing that. I click on that, and then I try clicking here because it seems like something you got to click. It doesn't, it doesn't work that way. So let's go and frost break our way over here. Actually, you know what? We got that. Uh, let's go work our way over here as well. Uh, something like that. That works. We can get both those done. Uh, there's other buildings we'll eventually get, and I'll show you some of this stuff later on, but like the food stockpile hub, there's there's going to be little hubs that we can put around these things. We can build these districts up with additional buildings inside. There's a lot more detail. This first scenario is very basic. Um, and that's why I want to show this scenario and the next one, because the next one shows a full town. So you can see a lot more stuff of where this game wants to go as far as, like, councils and, and, um, and the overmap, for instance, that we don't get to see here. So there is district number one. We need district number two. Uh, this one, if it's next, if it's near another housing district, there is a little bit of a heat boost. If it's over here next to the, you know, that, it's better as well. We're just going to set it in something like over, uh, oh, I got I to gotta do more, more frost breaking. Uh, let's frost break this way because I know where we need to be going here. Down the ramp. And you can see, as I go into that mode, you can see the different things that are out here. So we've got, this is the, uh, like, we got oil, we've got materials, um, we've got food spots where we can do some farming. 
and uh, yeah, more materials and farming all, all around this place. So we'll keep on frost breaking that thing down. And we'll work our way down here because we're going we're gonna be going there next for some food. Which we desperately need food. We need food, we need supplies, we need all that stuff. Uh, and get a extraction district on this guy here. Again, three hexes. Um like that. The only thing I've seen about like not having districts next to each other is like we don't want housing next to the extraction because then it provides like slums or something. I don't know if provides is the right word, but it gives you slums. Uh, a squalor, I don't know. It, gave you, it gives something that, that you don't really want. So ideally, you don't want to do that. You can eventually expand your districts as, districts as well, which we'll see that later on. Through the cold, some of our people have frozen to death. 30 people, as a matter of fact, have frozen to death. Yeah, that happens. That happens. It's real cold out there. We should get more houses done. Something like that. Just cover those six there to get more houses in so people can actually have some houses. Uh, we desperately need some food. Which we'll get here in a second. Is that one up and running? Yeah, there we go. We still seem to have a uh, shortage of materials. But we do have plenty of fuel. So that's that's good. All of our meters here is basically people are, you know, they need hunger. There's some disease notices popping up there. We have we need to get access to food. Now that we got heat and shelter, get food. Okay. So let's go work our way over to get some fertile soil. Uh, again, I always do that. I don't know. I've been playing this game for a while. I, I still, every time I do that. Uh, we got this all uh, cleared out. So we just got to make our way down here to get some food. So we shall do that. Again, it's just one hex here. Um, in the next map, there's a lot more than just one. There'll be like three of them together. And so you can kind of plan out your districts a little more, a little more wisely, I suppose, than, than here. We're looking, everyone looking all right. How are we looking on food on cold. Uh, we are we are cold, but we're not, we're not extreme cold. It is diminishing. Minor cold. Seems nice. All right, so let's go get. People are getting sick. Let's get a food district in here. We're gonna place that there again. It's three districts, so we'll just set it like that. Three hexes, I mean. And get that one built up, and then we will have food. We are 53 short at the moment. We should get some more of that. We secured our immediate survival. Uh, we have to stockpile as much food as we can before the whiteout forces us to take shelter. So we are not stockpiling food at the moment. We need more. We're actually losing food at the moment. So we need to get 40,000 food in this place before 59 weeks hits us. So uh, let's go get some. I don't know why I do that every time. Uh, let's go. So we got a couple of options. We've got uh, some food down here. We got some food up here as well. I'm going to go ahead and chip my way away up this way. Um, actually, let's, let's do, let's do that, work our way there, so it's kind of like roads, it's kind of, it was kind of strange when I first saw this, uh, but it, basically it's roads, we're just chiseling out snow roads over to our, to where we want to get to, uh, that makes sense, and, uh, let's go, oh, let's do one of these things, so we've got, we got the supplies, let's go put in one of these, a food stock pile hub, which will give us a, a little bit of a boost, um, can I put it there? No, I can put it there. Which will give us a, um, we need less workforce to be in there. So a little bit of a boost being near the food, which is fine. Two folks are sick. Bad time to be sick. Okay, let's go and get some more food districts placed over here. Same thing. We need some more, we need lots, because we are, we are, um, we're doing nothing about it right now. Let's get that done, and I'm going to go ahead and... Oh, here we go. Uh, old Finan. Finan. is pouring sand in his hands. Uh, he's saying, we may not be able to fill food stockpiles without exceptional measures, he says. So consider asking the Wanderers to tighten their belts, which I showed you there a second ago, or instill some emergency shifts in the work districts, which we'll go ahead and do. We'll, we'll do both. We'll do some emergency shifts. People will work day and night, crank out some more food. And we can talk to this guy and say, hey, buddy, uh, this group, I should say, this group, the Wanderers, the faction, tighten your belts. We, have, we can all have other things. We can, we can um, those that aren't working, donate their saved scraps to us. Uh, we can say, we'll give them scraps back. This is all sort of around scraps, well, except for the tighten belts. But scraps, which is what we use to do, like, the, um, the frost breaking. Um, we mourn those who have recently passed. Yeah, yeah, we toss them in the well or whatever. Mm, two meals a day better than no meals a day later. That's right. That's right. 
That's the spirit. So we got 990 food. We need 40,000. We'll have it in 379 weeks. We got 54. We ain't gonna make it. Not to worry. This is the, uh, this is the tutorial. It'll help us out. Uh, each day wind grows fiercer. Uh, provide more materials to reduce squalor before it harms our people. All right, I promise I will give you more materials. This thing, is this thing out already? Uh, it is nearly out. So that was the, so that's why I was going over here. We're gonna go try to build up this way. And grab one of these to get some more supplies. Um... Something like that. It's fine. Get an extraction wagon. This extraction wagon. Yeah, right there. Uh, uh, maintenance wagon. Extraction district on a maintenance wagon. Okay. Well, we're down to 93 weeks, so we're getting somewhere. Um, I will go ahead and put in... Food stock pile hub. Well, I'll put that right there. And we can go work our way down this way towards the ice. This way. Or we got another food stock pile somewhere around here. Food spot. There's a food spot right there we can go work towards. Can I make it over there? Which one's going to be easier? Yeah, there's oil there. Let's go work. Let's just work this way. By the way, turn this around. That's, I think that's the ocean over there. It's a very pretty game. Ooh. So we'll frost bicker our way over that way. Frost break. Uh, Treya here, uh, says that I've lived a full life. It warms my heart to see little Betty and Jacob play by the evening fire, but maybe this is it. I've talked to the other elders. If it comes to it, we're gonna go. So she's saying, for the sake of the others, they will just leave. The old people will just walk out to provide food for the youngsters. And this is where the, uh, so you get, some, get those morality questions coming in. Um, let's go and build an attraction district over here, which we promised. There we go. Get that one done. Uh, we are short on food still. And that one's up and running, and this one's up and not running. Let's go down here. We go. We made it there. We still got something over here. Uh, we found seals. A seal colony can supplement our food production. Uh, if we slay them... We should we slay them if the Lord spared them from the end of the world too? Uh, yes, yes. I'm gonna go eat some seals. Place a, a food district over there. So we we are, we're about half, uh, or, or we're about halfway there, I suppose. Is this depleted yet? Not quite yet. Almost. Uh, we are a little short on the heat needed, the, um, the output needed for the oil that we've got here. So last time on Frostbuck one. We had to sort of like manage our generator and how much how much we could adjust the levels of it. This one, it's more to supply and demand. Just make sure you supply enough. People can make it, but they, you'll get more cold and all kinds of other problems if you don't um, just provide enough. And so we'll frost break this stuff. Actually, I don't really need to. Uh, we'll put in a... Oh, am I out of uh, materials? Oh, I am. We'll get another another one of those over there. That's yeah, done too, which I can do. Um, extraction is probably more important. There we go. Make sure we get plenty of heat in this place. And that is almost done. There we go. Good work. Now gathering some materials. Perfect. Okay, still short on food. Uh, it wants me to place a food district on the seals, which I will do now. There we go. Again, we just have to cover that one hex. Okay, mysterious symbol. Uh, one of our frost-breaking frost crew uh, uncovered the frozen moraine, <laughs> the frozen remains of a man in a tattered uniform. His patch reads New London Scouts, 3rd Platoon. So they claim it belongs to a military organization, while others argue it's a religious significance. Uh, have we heard of him? Uh, yes, we can say it symbolizes order. It means New London is a seat uh, of discipline, strong leadership. Uh, so this will lead a... a continuity in which New London was embraced order to survive, or we can go with faith to survive, basically just going to lead down our story where our story takes place, is it order or faith, or we don't know um, I chose order last time I'll choose faith this time, I'll see if anything else pops up, I didn't see anything with that, I'm assuming that's going to pop up later on in the story 
about what we're uh, what we're doing here, where clerics sort of have um, a little more say, and I think it has to do with the factions, which we can't see much with them just yet, but we'll see them shortly. Heating demand is increased. It's okay. We got that thing coming in. This is done for, so we might as well just tear this district down. Get some supplies back. There we go. And that is on, that's on over time. We can actually make a few of them over, on overtime, I suppose. Um, we're going to make them have, yeah, emergency shifts. There's still 18,000 food over there. Work more. We got plus 71. We got 70 weeks now. Is this one done? This one's done. Uh, overtime. Ooh, look, there's a lot of seals in there. Oh, in 28 weeks, we're going to do it. Nice. So I did this just playing around with this, trying to get my, you know, figure out the game. And I uh, I sent the old people away. <laughs> and it went from 40,000 needed food to 25,000. And I made it. I made it with plenty of time. Um, didn't even need to send all the old people away, but we didn't tell them that. So I was curious if I could do this without actually having to do that. My choice was, do I um, do nothing and just kind of hope for the best? Uh, do I, it may pop up still, um, do I send the old people away to save on how much food we need to stockpile, or do we hunt the seals to extinction? Because there's a bunch of seals there, and just yank all the food in real quick. That was my, my three choices when I played before. I think, though, I think we, I think we're good. Oh, we got something else. Uh, whiteout draws near, sacrifice. Ah, here it is, here it is. So, we, it'll be here in 34 weeks. We have, uh, I will have enough food. It says I'm gonna have enough, so... Uh, I'm gonna say don't resort to extremes, but there we go. We can slaughter the seals. The last seal, seal colony is gone. We get a whole bunch of food. We can send the old people out. No, no, no. No extremes. We got this. We got this. Uh, the fuel is a little bit low. Um, I could go and chisel my way into here and grab that oil wagon right there, which I might as well. Something like that. Once we clear that out, we'll put in a uh, extraction thing. Basically, we're just preparing for the winter, you know. Uh, extraction there. Like that. Uh, lack of prefab. So we don't have enough prefab prefabricated components. Oh. Yeah. Well. That's something that's in the next... We'll have an industrial zone for that next time. Which we don't have right now. But that'll provide enough. What we have will provide enough. So we've got just enough stuff for this. And we will survive survive this... In nine weeks. Plenty of time. People are getting kind of sick. That deposit is actually nearly depleted. Actually, I hope I make this. I didn't think about that being depleted. Yeah, we should be fine. We're eating seal. Eating lots of seal. There we go. Food secured. We will survive. Excellent. Now we gotta wait, just hold off for, for 12 weeks, so we're just gonna fast forward it, get to 12 weeks here, and we'll move on to the next scenario, which the next scenario, so that kind of gives you an idea what the, what the idea of the game is. Right? You're putting down districts, um, you're trying to deal with your food supplies, your, your, your material supplies, eventually we'll have good supplies, make sure people have housing, uh, make sure we're providing enough fuel for the, uh, for the generator. Everyone kind of surrounds this generator. Having multiple housing encampments next to each other is going to give you a boost to heat. And that's the basics. So then we get to go into the next mission. Which shows shows even more. It even does a better but does a better job of showing what where the game goes. The whiteout hit the camp. The wanderers were ready. Everyone was thankful we acted fast and gathered enough food and time. The miracle of the seal, seal colony strengthened our hope that our journey will lead to a promised land. Our elders have added this story to our, with a, to our great tales, alongside warnings about a sinful city that still pumps smoke into the sky. We survived.
right, now we go from dealing with a little village to dealing with a proper town. And this will, this will show a lot more of where this, where, where we will go with this. Captain's dead. As he weakened, growing divisions brought city maintenance to a grinding halt. Now, New London is left to suffer the consequences. We are now the steward. We are in charge. Our job is to deal with an overcrowded, not enough fuel, not enough food city. Let's get to work. All right, so here is our town. Like before, everything in this central area is a district. And you can kind of see, well, I don't know how to see it. Um, you can, well, there's the central area, and we'll deal with housing and all that in a minute here. But you can see we also have logistics, which takes us outside the world, uh, outside the, the map. And then we have industrial to build to build these, which are goods, which we'll see here shortly. Our job is to go and get this thing up and running, because people are going to die if we don't. So we got to get ourselves a coal supply. Uh, we're going to frost break our way over here to some coal. And then you can see these are uh, much more com compact. Um, and so we can grab... I'm actually going to build... I'm going to grab a couple of these. And we can get a couple hexes, a few hexes in there within each, each, um, what's it called, uh, district. We have three different group, folks, uh, folks, groups, 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 something, uh, Frostlanders, there's, there are, uh, there are 43% of our, of our people, we've got the Faith Keepers, and we have the New Londoners, our, our factions here. And with each of them, we can, we can, uh, raise the trust, we can deal with each of them in, in different ways. As, as the game goes on, trying to keep them happy. There's a council we'll deal with in a second. This is our uh, zeitgeist of the town. Whether we are learning, leaning towards progress or or adaptation or merit or equality or tradition and reason, you can see this will sort of start to skew as the game goes on. Kind of developing our town a bit. Uh, other different things we can make. We'll get to this research institute, council halls. They all go inside these districts. But for right now... We're going to frost break a bit more. Like that. I'm going to go ahead and get a district a district down. To cover these. I can't quite reach there, so... There we go. Get a quick district in there. It's going to have how much? 144,000 coal. And as it comes in, they'll start planting these little roads here. I think we can come. I think we can come in here. We can see. Can I, is there? Can I look at it? Yeah, there we go. It's not very exciting since it's off. But once that is up and running, we can turn the generator on finally. It also wants me to put in some housing districts, which I will do. But I want to make sure we get the rest of this stuff cleared out because we got to put these housing districts in here. Um, Clear that all out. Okay, I'm gonna get this one done, and then we'll worry about. We'll just get all this taken care of. So there is some fuel coming in now, which we can now turn on the generator. On there we go. The steward appreciates all your adoring letters and will answer personally in due time. Okay, this seems like a good spot for a housing district. Perfect. Now, we don't want to be too close to that. Um, I think as long as there's one hex gap, it's fine. But that will that will provide... That'll make the uh, bad, bad housing districts. It wants two of them, so we'll get one there. And I guess I might put one up on this hill. It didn't seem to matter too much. I guess it's just going to use more fuel. But it is next to other housing districts, so it's going to be fine. There we go. So we don't, we don't want to be there because that will give us some squalor. Squalor. That's the word. There. Up on this ridge. I kind of, I think I'd rather live down here. This seems, this seems cold. Get that built up. Uh, we need to get housing taken care of. We need to get food taken care of. We need everything taken care of. But we do have fuel. I was going to go um, etch this out, but I think I'm going to hold off and just do a little bit more of this. Just to kind of clear out some things. Well, I have the, uh, I have the, the heat stamps. If 
Five folks are registered as sick. Here we go. Housing is up and running. And number two is there. All right. Good work, steward. Got the new coal deposits, part of the last vein in New London. There are some deposits left, but they won't last for long. We need to improve our mining to use it efficiently. The city's communities are voicing different opinions about how to do it. Let's decide whose ideas are worth pursuing. So let's get ourselves a... We will expand a housing district. We're going to take this guy over here. We're going to expand it. We just kind of build onto this guy. We'll go like over there. Is that okay? I guess so. And we'll go up here on the, on the ledge a bit. And once we go up there, we can also expand this with a few different buildings. We'll get a bunch of these. And we can add this this research institute, which will fit in. It'll fit in here once this expands. Once it's an expanded district. But we also want to research this new idea for coal mines. Which we'll do once that is done. Expand the district, then we can add, we can basically upgrade it. The Faith Keepers kind of like it. It's too bad they're a tiny, a tiny uh, uh, faction. We also have this, uh, this is the tension. It is, uh, it's notably cold. Uh, there's notable disease, and there is a fear of running out of coal. And that's kind of what these are all talking about, talking about up here. Okay, so that is done. Uh, people gather around a generator tower as it wakes with a thundering shudder and bestows heat on us yet again. This is the heart of the city. Our last line of defense against the cold. Our first hope for a future. Any future. Uh, their first child, a daughter, was born in the exact moment the generator sprang to life again. They call her Lily May. Let me ask that you bless her. Very well, Lily May. Very well. All right, let's go build a research institute. And it just sort of pops. Like, it's just sort of like, that's where it goes. It goes there. Not a lot of freedom for where to put things, it seems. It just sort of like. Like, whether you want it there or not, that's where it's going. I'm not sure why it decides that spot. Or if it's a predetermined thing for each map. I guess, I, guess I, I I built my housing district here last time. I should have put it somewhere else. See what would it... How it plants it. But that's where I put it last time I, I built here. But there it is. We can also zoom in on this district. There we go. There's the housing district. Housing hub thing. Um, in addition to we had before the fuel stockpile hub, we also have a heating hub, which will provide heat outside the area. Uh, there is like a a, um, a fuel stockpile hub, which I'm assuming we want to, we don't put over here, because this is yeah. It's near a fuel stockpile. Actually, this would be good right here, because we got more fuel back over here, so we'll set it right there. It'll hit it'll hit both of them. There we go. Try to get this taken care of. We still are short on housing. Uh, the communities of New London have um, have different ideas. Faith Keepers, New Londoners, and Frostlanders. Uh, show me more. All right, welcome to the idea tree. We need new ideas to move forward. Different communities promote different things. Uh, we got heating. We got resources. Frostland. This is for the outside stuff. Uh, let's do with the city, society. What to do with the youth and hubs? We're gonna go with heating and coal mines because that's what the tutorial is telling me to do. We shall research that and build that up. We know we still have some problems, so let's go see if we can deal with these problems. Uh, food is definitely definitely an issue. Do we have a food spot? Yeah, we got a food spot over here. We got a bunch of them over here. Uh, let's go. Uh, let's go this way. Let's let's frost whatever frost break our way over here like that. A few of these we can grab right now. Um, we can make a food district and grab. Those. I could get. Could I get that one too? Maybe. Should I wait? I'll just do it. This. Right. This. There's a bunch of bunch of food in there. I like when you when you speed up the uh, that. Very cool. There's my tech tree going on down there. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else we need to look at that I haven't shown you there. As much, much tutorials. Tutorials are all just that. Um, there is the temperature, which you can see it's going to be needing. We'll need more fuel as it gets colder. Once it's cleared out, we may do some more of this. Six folks are sick. This might give us enough food. Probably not. We need more some materials getting brought in, uh, which we can get over, like, over here. that. Okay, so food is running. We're still at minus 24. Um, 
But let's slap down a uh, food stockpile hub. I think I'll set it over here because we got more food back this way. Oh, that says fuel. I wonder why my numbers were. Okay, so we're sort of getting there. Um, I think I, what I might do, let's see if we can expand this guy a bit up on these walls. It says it's still sheltered from the wind, but I'll take it. We need more housing, more shorts, need more food, need more materials. Remember to keep your heat lamp maintained. It might just save your life. going on over here? Uh, heat scarcity, huh? Oh, yeah, yeah, I got cold, I guess. Okay, well, then let's go and do a extraction district over here. There's more fuel over this way. Our tech is almost done. Food is happening, sort of. So they have proposed a, a dust coal mine. Construct a newly researched building in the extraction district. Doke. There it is. And it goes in right there. I'd really like it to go over here, but we'll just we'll do what it says. This is probably a much better place for it, because this isn't this has only got what? It's got 123. This has 360,000. If you see where I'm looking at here, right here, coal remaining. It'll last me 428 weeks. This one, we've got 65 weeks out of it. So that's definitely a better place for it, but... Either one. Probably, we can do more than one. Uh, with the new mine, the impending doom of deplet depleting coal is postponed. Different communities... Uh, between differences remain. Weakening captain wanted to establish a council to settle on them. He didn't live to see it through. So my job, to build a council. So let's get this... Central count, uh, Council Hall, which we are putting it right there, whether we like it or not. Going on over here. Uh, praying to the generator. Such a relief to have you back on. Oh, holy generator, provider and sustainer. Generator is revered and beloved beloved by the faith keepers. Oh, see, that's a new one. I didn't have that before, I think, with the, with the faith. I didn't do the faith, so I didn't have that. Excellent. So that'll give us... Should be good on fuel there. There we go. Um, yeah, increase that wall there. We need to get more materials. Let's build a material district. Uh, extraction, that's the one. There we go. That's going to be a good one. Yeah. Now I could. Do, I guess I could do multiple spots. And then they would just... They could get it dug out faster. There was a tutorial about this. So they'll have it done in 548 weeks. I could have done that two separate districts and so they would yank it out of the ground faster. But it's fine. Council gathers for the first time. Pass the vote of confidence. Okay. Click the button. Anticipation fills the air as the council opens. The captain ruled with a firm hand for years. Those times died with him. Open the session. All right. No, I, I see. I see. Yeah, yeah. So we're going to vote for a, a vote of confidence. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I vote for myself. Basically, they're voting to put me in charge. Ooh, I got a higher number than I had last time I played. All right. You shall remain then. Good. There are challenges ahead. We need to find more fuel. This is my first, my first decree. This is what I want to end this video on, is going and finding and showing off the, uh, the map. So we're going to go dig our way over here to this station. Like that. I'm actually running a little low on uh, my old heat stamps. Which I can go and I can say, hey, give me more. 
raise funds. Ask Frostlanders uh, to contribute to the city. We may need to do that. Everything is still in the negative. Getting cold. Hey. Okay, logistics. We're gonna put that in. Oh, it's six. I guess we'll do that. Yeah, people are gonna keep getting sick because we don't have enough houses yet. Uh, we do have plenty of fuel. We're a little short on food as well, so I'd be ideally I ideal to put in a food district over here. I may need to come in and like ask these folks, hey, give me more money or more um, heat stamps so I can get some stuff done because we are short on some things. But we can get this done, and we'll go do some exploring. We'll go see the overworld and see how that looks and what we do with that before we wrap it up. I see. Okay, let's go to the world map. There we go. There's New London. So we got all these different zones out here we can go and explore. And so we can go, say, like over here, we've got uh, makeshift shelters, overpopulation and dwindling fuel reserves force many residents of New London to take refuge in these shelters. We can go bring them in. There are 2,600 of them. Come on back. Uh, we have only so many teams, and we use those teams to go into explore, like Frozen Bay here. It takes 10 of them, and we can go and explore this and try to find. There may be people over there. We're hoping to find uh, – our job here is to go out and find a source of fuel. Another thing we can do with this is we can set up uh, a trail construction, which uh, allows us to ship units from somewhere else. So we're going to have – New London will be our, like our capital, and then we're going to have – settlements built outside here so we'll find an, a place with oil and in that place we will build a camp basically that will be shipping oil back to New London they're still uh, exploring this oh yeah they're only 80% Logistic district is now operational first expeditions in search for fuel will be launching shortly okay and on that note, I think this is where we wrap it up. I fully intend to do some uh, a, a live stream of this, so if you want to watch a bit more of this game and maybe more of the sandbox mode, I will be doing that. Uh, probably the, the, the evening, the night that this video goes live. Uh, other than that, there's Frostpunk 2. Thanks again, 11-Bit, for sponsoring this video. And we're going to call it a day. I hope you all have a good one. This is available September 20th. I'll have links, of course, below. You can check them out. Wishlist, all the good stuff. And have a good one.